first step in the overdrive section disassembly is to remove the two 25 millimeter Torx bolts at the rear of the housing to gain access to the snap ring that will later remove the overdrive section from the housing. After that has been complete, you can tip the overdrive section up and remove the round wire snap ring and five overdrive brake frictions and five overdrive brake steels. and one overdrive brake apply plate. After that has been complete there are two snap rings a wave snap ring and a flat snap ring. The wave one being first you can remove that after that has been removed you can remove the flat snap ring After that has been complete, you can tip the overdrive section down and with a large snap ring pliers, open the snap ring under the plate that we exposed first and slide the overdrive section out. Next step in the disassembly of the overdrive section would be to load the overdrive section into a 3 ton presser larger and with U-shaped pressing legs press down on the overdrive hub enough to gain access to the round wire snap ring and the wave snap ring towards the outside of the housing. When you have gained access remove the wave snap ring and the small wire snap ring after that has been complete you may release the press slowly making sure the 800 pound spring releases and does not bind. After you have removed the overdrive section from the press you can complete the disassembly by removing the tub and overdrive direct fibers and steels, the 800 pound spring, the sun gear, bearing and plate, planet, and the one-way clutch and cam, and also bearing. Next step in the overdrive section would be to make sure that there is no pitting or abnormal wear on the teeth of the overdrive sun gear. After that has been complete, you can do the same on the planetary, making sure there's no pitting or abnormal wear on the teeth, and also checking the up and down movement, thrust washers on the top and the bottom, and side to side or rocking movement. Next step in the overdrive section would be to reassemble the overdrive sun gear and hub with the spline end of the overdrive sun gear dip it in oil or put a light film of assembly goo on it to ease in the installation after that has been complete you can set the 800 pound spring and the hub lining up the splines and putting back into the press and with the u-shaped pressing tools again you may line it up and slowly press the two together making sure there is no binding or hanging up press the two together far enough to make visible the snap ring groove to reinstall the small round wire snap ring that we took out in the disassembly. After the groove has been exposed, you may reinstall 
the round wire snap ring, making sure fully seated in the groove. Release the press slowly so there is no binding. Next step in the reassembly of the overdrive section would be to lubricate all the new bearings in transmission fluid before they're reinstalled. First thing back into the overdrive section would be the smallest bearing in the set with the inner race lip facing down. After that has been completed you can reinstall the roller clutch onto the cam with the lip facing down. Reinstalling back into the housing with a counterclockwise motion and reseating into the housing. After that has been complete you may reinstall the planetary. After that has been complete the overdrive sun gear and hub assembly with the new bearing pre-soaked in oil with the inner race lip facing down. Then you may reinstall the backing plate for the overdrive direct clutch with the recessed area facing down and then alternating fiber steel 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 fiber before going to the press You'll want to install the apply plate with the flat side down towards the fiber and the new waved snap ring along with the alignment tool. With the overdrive section back in the press, use the two U-shaped pressing legs once again to compress the hub enough to expose the snap ring groove the outside diameter of the drum. After enough area is exposed, reinstall the snap ring making sure it's fully seated and slowly release the press until the U-shaped legs are lifted. With the overdrive section removed from the press, you may now reinstall it into the overdrive housing by spreading the snap ring at the back of the housing to let the overdrive section fully seat in the housing. After that has been completed, you can tip it upright and reinstall the two snap rings with the flat snap ring first and the wave snap ring second. After that has been completed, you may reinstall the overdrive brake fibers and steels with the thick apply plate going down first, then alternating fiber, steel, fiber, steel, fiber, steel, fiber, steel fiber and ending up with a steel on the top and the round wire snap ring engaged into the groove in the drum. Next step in the overdrive reassembly would be to install the lubricated new bearing with the inner race lip facing upward. After that is going been completed you can take the overdrive 
piston with the overdrive shim stuck to it with some assembly glue and install it as though it would be installed in the trans with the two pegs facing upwards. With the overdrive piston installed into the housing, take a dial caliper and measure from the top of the last steel we installed to the top of the overdrive piston. After you have that measurement, remove the overdrive piston, measure the width of the piston, and deducting that from your total measurement, and an acceptable measurement would be from 100 thousandths to 150 thousandths. If that is not reached, you can adjust the thickness by replacing the overdrive shim with either thicker or thinner shims that are available.